life, it's the beginning of March and it's perishing. But on the outside film set of EastEnders today, it's supposed to be blooming April. Ground's not bad, is it? Right, well watered. <laughs> yeah. I like playing God. God? Albert Square, Walford East 20, was born and raised at Elstree Studios, Hertfordshire. Can we leave these up? Well, we, they were permanently mounted. They, they used to be a sort of an aluminium thing instead of this plastic back and forth sign that you see now. But we had a bit of trouble with people coming in over the fence and uh, keeping them as souvenirs. So, um, we tried Araldite in place to pieces of plywood that we had mounted on these railings, but uh, they went too with the piece of plywood. Today's director is Peter Moffat. It's awesome. Oh, something arty. No, that's not very arty, is it? Not really. No. We've got some short ones, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we just go sort of there. How does that feel to you? EastEnders is recorded six weeks ahead of transmission. So, imagine it's late April and love is in the air, even though spring hasn't sprung and the trees are almost bare. Oh. In the fantasy world of twice a week soap, the production team and Dick the gardener can't afford to wait for nature to take her course. Jimmy, you may have got some more plastic ones you put in here? Yeah. We put them in around that one, please. Then I'm going to put that grass down. Have you got your little thing? The, uh, your dibbler. Do you have that? Yeah, this thing. No, there's some real ones there. Sorry? Put some real ones in this one, I think. Yeah, we do. We've got some real ones in there. Some are just buds. But you see, the plastic ones ain't got no leaves on. So, the, you know, they'll kind of keep the plastic ones up straight if we keep them in close, see? All right? Is it, that's is it all wrong? Does it hurt you a bit to have to use plastic? Well, a little bit, really. <laughs> you see, I don't know what you see up there, and this here. So we better have a bit here. They don't look real. Now, when I say these plastic trials, they only earn a man a living once. When, as you've got bulbs, they earn a living for a man every year, do you see? That's why I'm against plastic trials, so we don't know it comes. Have you got any real ones underneath? that will come up eventually. Yeah, these ones, look. You're going to leave them there? Yeah, we'll leave them there. Yeah. You know, we don't like plastic flowers. Could you clear the square now, please? Yeah. I don't know what's that time. Yeah. EastEnders tops the TV charts with an average weekly audience of nearly 40 million. Nobody was quite prepared for such an instant response from viewers who seemed to identify with the real-life issues affecting ordinary people. This is one of the stars, Rowley, closely followed by his mistress, Julia Smith, co-creator and producer of the series. And this is the lovely Shirley Cheriton, <laughs> Debbie, doing her Greta Garbo number. <laughs> why did it, why it put all that on? Because I so I won't get recognised on the train because um, obviously, you know, if you haven't got transport, then you have to go on public transport and I don't like people staring at me. I expect they stare at me even more wearing this stuff. <laughs> I didn't mean that with you. Did you recognise me, really? Did you? I don't think anybody does, though, because I sit there and I read a newspaper and... Is it, it's not the dark glasses, so... No, they're actually real glasses. I wear these for driving anyway. I just ordered a car, which has got tinted windows, so it'll be all right, but meanwhile, I'm on the train. <laughs> Do you think they recognise me then, really? I think I'd recognise you. Well, even with all this on? They're probably We've thinking, got... what an idiot. <laughs> the tramp. We've got this good anyway. bod, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I've got to get to work. See you later. <laughs> The Queen Vic's beer is real ale. Fake stuff just didn't look right. And the food is mouth-watering too. It's prepared by Taffy Hyrene, a man worth knowing. Do you want a breakfast? 
Wardrobe department. She's what about the yellow? She's sort of blooming, and we've had the daffodils. And they're know. trying to decide on Michelle's maternity wear for her proposal oh, scene yellow. today with Lofty. Trousers, I don't know. I think so, yes, I don't. Yeah, this is it's supposed to be ready. Breakfast. It's better than the canteen stuff. Sorry. It's not really fair, right? Not done? No, I haven't. I've had breakfast this morning. Have you had breakfast? No. No? Would you like some? Just a bit of bacon? Go on, then. Don't know my fingers. Thank you. See your expensive yeah. diamond. Is it a real diamond? <coughs> it's gold. It's gold. It's, it's real. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't scarf it. Yeah. Right. Let's get going. Draw the face today. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so dry my hair. I put. Um, no. It's these bits, really. Morning, Gretchen. Morning. Oh, Gretchen's arrived now, and you're in the chair. Just oh well, perhaps you'll come and call for me. He can sit here. Who? William. I'm only giving him a tray. I'll only take a moment. Down. No, I'm going upstairs. I'm not wanted. Gretchen, you are oh. wanted. She is. Gretchen. Uh, well, it's going so well. Can you leave a pause there, which I'll cut out, because that there is longer pause. Yes, there is much time for him to swing from a wider shot to a longer pause. And when you've um, when you've uh, taken in the fact that it's business, then I think put your arm around his shoulder or something so that you smile and got something nice to go. Yes, so you really get close to go. No, it isn't. It's got a nice sense of humour. <laughs> there you are with prize winning daffs and they're out on the lot they're sticking plastic daffodils in there yeah but of course i don't give them time will I? that's just six weeks again isn't it that's how it goes unfortunately but uh, then when the real ones come up and then i'll knock the heads off so i can't see them because i'll be too late for them <laughs> that must hurt you well that do really, but I mean, they really ain't too bad. They only really knock them off when they're in shot, as it were. They really ain't too bad, but that does hurt, don't it, to knock, to knock flowers off when you've been all the time trying to grow them. But then it's just, the weather is the ruler, isn't it? And you, you've even had to cultivate the weeds. Yeah, we planted some weeds on the pavement to get them to, had to water them and all to get them to grow. That's the best of it. Uh, when uh, they first put the set, that looked, well, that looked new, it was new, wasn't it? And so Keith wanted some weeds, so we dug some weeds up, chopped some holes in the pavement, planted them weeds and watered them and get them to grow. <laughs> did they grow well for you? They did. <laughs> they grow anywhere, aren't they? <laughs> what so, a daft business. Not really. I mean, that's got a look real, hasn't it? Are you as proud of, of your weeds as you are of the, the dafts and the oh, geraniums? I was pleased when they grew. When the weeds in the pavement grow, I was pleased when they grew because if not, I'd have to put some more in, wouldn't I? Yeah. Look, I know it might be a bit daft, I mean, 
after the way we got together in that. It's not daft. It's perfect. I'm so full of myself. It's like I'm bursting. You know what I mean. I do. After you, why have you brought me up now? I want us to get engaged. I thought... No, no, properly engaged. 